Hi, this is Rohan. This is Egili Side. And Welcome to our channel. Uh, it's really nice to see you all after two years of COVID and now we are back. Yeah, after more than a year, finally I again uh, upload something in my YouTube channel. So, yeah, now he's here after two years um, long distance marriage maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what we are talking about right now, baby. So today we'll be discussing about documents, what all faces, uh, issues we face and um, a lot of things like, you know, what we have been through and at the same time, what are the important documents. So uh, the objective of this video is to show you all that uh, what all documents are required to marry an Indonesian. So I'm an Indian and she's an Indonesian and what are the basic steps what are the do's and don'ts so in this video we'll be sharing all those things yes exactly so finally we both are married legally officially under indonesian law so in this video we are especially wants to share about uh, all the documents that we need um the processing time and all the fees that we had to pay had to pay so firstly, I'm going to talk about is all the documents you need to bring from India to Indonesia along with the processing time and uh, the fees included in this. And this fee should be approximate because uh, it depends from region to region, your transportation. So yeah, so for the first thing is you need to make a affidavit. In this affidavit, you need to mention that you are a single, uh, you are single, you're not married before. Uh, in any religion be it Hinduism or Muslim in that uh, you have to also mention that which girl you are going to marry her name and the information like her passport number or her identity number so you need to mention that and once it's done it would hardly take 300 to 400 rupees uh, when you're getting it done from your regional court once you have done this, you have to send it for apostille attestation. Uh, apostille attestation takes uh, around 8,000 to uh, 10,000 rupees. Uh, I got it done from an agent. So you guys can also get it done from your agent, uh, which is uh, whichever is near to your, uh, to your region. So once your document is completed in India related to F.E. David and the apostille stamp is completed, you, uh, you can plan to come to Indonesia. And once you come to Indonesia, you need to submit this document in Indian Embassy Jakarta. This will be only done in Indonesian Emb Indian Embassy in Indonesia. And uh, the NOC stamp will be over there, right? In Jakarta. Yes, only in Jakarta. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, once you submit this NOC, uh, this for NOC attestation, uh, you have to pay somewhat around 410,000. Uh, 410,000 is equal to somewhat like 2,500 Indian rupees. And from there, I think uh, once your NOC stamp is done, you can... Uh, you can get this document along with the attestation within 7 to 14 days. After the affidavit done by Indian Embassy, you can collect it and you have to translate the affidavit to Bahasa uh, by sworn authorized translator. It will take around one week and you need to pay. We paid actually... 200,000 for four pages, so 50,000 each page. Um, it depends on the agent, on in the uh, depends on the translator that you use. So make sure it will be not that expensive because it's usually around 50 until 100,000 per pages, something like that. Okay, and one more thing um, Indian groom have to be prepared is passport and the photocopy of front like uh, identity front and back. yeah yes. identity um, front page and back page of passport yes and also the page where is the stamp 
when you when he come on the arrival stamp like visa yeah visa stamp or your mm. arrival date stamp yes so that is also required to submit it on uh, to the chatatan circle yeah. so that they can see how long you'll be living uh, living in indonesia mm -hmm. from rohan side i think that's all and from indonesian bride from me actually i just need my ktp and uh, my family card kaka um also your religion marriage certificate because we are married in christian way so we just need to bring our church marriage certificate if you are married in hindu or in other religion you have to bring um the religion marriage certificate to the catatan sipil also picture of both of you like side by side like this yeah and then a photocopy of two witnesses yes. anyone yeah so the photocopy of ktp of two witnesses yeah that's all is very simple for indonesian bride uh, it's a little bit complicated for um, indian. the indian group kalau semua dokumen sudah uh, complete sudah lengkap Uh, semua dokumen dari pihak laki-laki dan pihak perempuan bisa dibawa ke catatan sipil daerah kalian Kami mendaftarkan pernikahan kami di uh, catatan sipil Kabupaten Bogor Jadi apa yang kami ceritakan di sini adalah uh, pengalaman kami menikah di uh, catatan sipil Kabupaten Bogor Kami nggak tahu apakah di catatan sipil daerah lain itu akan sama atau tidak Jadi setelah semua lengkap dibawa aja ke sana, nanti mereka akan uh, submit, uh, mereka akan tanya semua kelengkapan datanya dan dokumennya. Kalau semua sudah lengkap, mereka akan tahan semua dokumen dan mereka akan kasih uh, schedule kapan uh, kita bisa ambil uh, marriage certificate atau akta nikah kita di uh, catatan sipil tersebut. So, like my wife told you, what will, uh, will be the things will be done in Chatalan Sipil is very simple. Uh, you need to submit it and they'll be calling you uh, according to the dates scheduled. Once uh, all those things is done, you will be getting a marriage certificate from uh, from the Chatalan Sipil. And that is your legal, uh, legal marriage certificate. But hey, this is not done yet. You need to uh, make it attestation from external affairs and ministry of law. So my wife is going to talk about how you can do it. Uh, we did it by agent, but uh, I think my wife will be the right person to talk more about this. Jadi setelah akta nikah selesai, um, kita dapat dua akta, dua surat itu untuk suami dan untuk istri. Nanti setelahnya kita harus bawa uh, surat Ini akta nikah ini ke tiga tempat. Yang pertama itu ke Kementerian Hukum dan Ham untuk minta dicap, dilegalisasi. Kemudian yang kedua ke Kementerian Luar Negeri, Foreign Affairs untuk dilegalisasi juga dicap. Dan yang terakhir ke Kedutaan India yang ada di Jakarta untuk di stamp atau dicap juga dilegalisasi. Um, itu harus berurutan ya tidak bisa uh, duluan yang mana jadi tetap harus berurutan Kementerian Hukum dan Ham Kementerian Luar Negeri dan Kedutaan untuk Kementerian Luar untuk Kementerian Hukum dan Ham dan Kementerian Luar Negeri itu kita pakai agent teman-teman kita bayar 750 ribu rupiah per lembar jadi dikalikan dua kurang lebih satu juta lima ratus ribuan gitu dan um, untuk yang di kedutaan itu kita bawa sendiri kita bayar kurang lebih empat ratus ribuan untuk biaya ini bisa naik bisa turun ya tergantung agent yang kamu pakai dan tergantung kebijakan dari um, kedutaan India juga yang ada di Jakarta gitu setelah itu kurang lebih masing-masing prosesnya itu satu mingguan jadi untuk semuanya kurang lebih dua mingguan um, semua legalisasi selesai dan ya yeah, congratulations you are married. legally married under Indonesian law 
yes. seperti itu. So you guys are married now. Uh, you can uh, enjoy coming to Indonesia comfortably. But again, I would like to tell you that you just got the uh, the marriage certificate. That means you guys are legally married, and your wife and you can come to each other's country comfortably. Mm-hmm. You won't be facing any issues. Mm-hmm. But yes. Uh, the visa process is again separate. Mm-hmm. Uh, your stay in Indonesia totally depends on your visa, mm-hmm. and visa and your marriage certificate is two different things. Mm-hmm. So remember this thing. We'll be talking more about this in our next video. Uh, the most important and the last thing what I'll be talking about is the do's and don'ts, which is very important. What you have to do is, and the I'll be talking about the do's first. You have to have a positive approach in every manner. You cannot be rude any point of time. You cannot be rude with any of the immigration person, any uh, Indian embassy person, or any person who is based out in Chhatrapati Sipil. Uh, be polite and whatever they say, try to cooperate. Secondly, always carry extra money. It is it is going to help you. in any step you don't know what uh, and where you are stuck and you are uh, you know there will not be any person who will be helping you out so trust me carry extra money all the time so whatever money we suggested you in the whole video i would say always take an estimation of at least 1 juta which is 5000 indian rupees extra for The next point I would like to mention is always ask, ask, ask. I have noticed Indonesian people don't like to ask many questions, <laughs> so my wife never used to ask any questions. And you have to be very probing. Probing means even you know you think or if you are having any doubts, ask. Even if it's a simple thing, just ask. Don't be hesitant at any point because. If you don't know anything, or if you missed out anything, your whole process can be cancelled, and that happened to us a lot of time. So uh, my marriage had a lot of issues. I'm not going to talk about that, but yes, uh, we uh, I asked a lot of people, and yeah. So the thumb rule is always ask people, and yeah. Now what I'm going to talk about is what you don't need to do. So, you always remember you have to take care of your documents all the time. Your original passport, documents. yes, your original documents, your passport, your F E David, your uh, you know any documents even after marriage certificate that would be the most important document. At any point, you don't need to submit your passport for Indians. Okay, you don't need to submit your passport anywhere. Yes, you would be needing to submit it in embassy, so they would be giving you a a attestation. But you don't need to even uh, submit your original passport over there. They will be taking a copy of that. Okay, so that is one. Be careful that not to submit your original documents or your passport anywhere. Can I add something? Yeah. Yeah. The don'ts. First of all. Don't give any original documents to catatan sipil. Jadi waktu kita kasih dokumen ke catatan sipil, semua fotokopi aja, jangan kasih yang asli. Karena eh, takutnya hilang atau gimana kan susah lagi kita carinya. Jadi mending kita pegang yang original, kita kasih yang fotokopi. Mereka sih nggak akan minta yang original ya. Yang penting eh, semua datanya ada gitu. sampai sekarang kita masih pegang affidavit asli um, apa tuh paspor semua masih ada jadi jangan pernah kasih yang um, original kan takutnya hilang itu aja okay second thing is uh, what is the important don'ts is don't come with a visa of one month okay mm. you uh, I'm I can assure you your document will never be completed within one month mm. Uh, within one month, it cannot be done. 
okay within two months also it is it was very hard for me and my wife uh, it took actually uh, more than uh, three to four months yeah. but uh, yeah if you if everything is working smoothly for you it would be uh, at complete least two at least taking two months mm-hmm. so within one month visa it it cannot be completed so yeah. don't have a mindset of keeping a visa only for one month and coming over here getting married and going back that is not possible yeah. i'm saying this very upfront blunt because i don't want to give any false hope to anyone ya kita juga um, selesai akta nikah sampai ke legalisasi segala itu butuh kurang lebih hampir 4 bulan itu karena uh, ada beberapa drama dan masalah gitu kan uh, di akta nikah kita tapi kalaupun kalian j- berjalan sesuai rencana tak ada masalah apapun itu paling enggak 2 bulan 1 bulan lebih lah hmm. karena menunggu uh, proses itu lumayan lama sih jadi jangan pernah ambil visa untuk 1 bulan oke okay. So yeah, I think that covers up most of the things. Um, this will help you to get married comfortably. Mm-hmm. I I would suggest you if you face any issues throughout the whole time, you can reach out to us in our description, and, and you can even send a message on our uh, Instagram. Instagram. and i i will ensure that we will try to help you as much as we can yeah and we will just help kita yes. hanya bisa bantu untuk orang-orang yang serius aja ya karena selama ini jujurly aku dan suami dapat beberapa dm yang menanyakan what is the documents to marry indonesian to marry indian whatever blah 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 yeah. but when we ask ketika ditanya Maaf maaf nih ya ketika ditanya kamu kerja enggak atau apa mereka yeah. mereka tidak bekerja they're not working so how they can afford no yeah they that's don't, the thing yeah. so please don't reach out to me saying that I want to marry my girlfriend she's in Indonesia and when I ask you guys are not working so trust me I won't be able to help you so yeah. please don't waste your time okay because guys getting married in Indonesia takes a lot of money. Okay, you need to prepare a lot of money. You need to be work, uh, having a recurring money coming to your bank account. Mm-hmm. So if you are working and having a good uh, bank statement, then only please reach out to me. I we don't want any of your money, but it is fo- going to help you in your process. That's it. So yeah, thank you guys for uh, you know watching our video and do let us know. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and do reach out to us on Instagram. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.